Okay, good morning, class. Can you hear me? Camera on, yes, please. Sir. Camera on, please. Okay, I can see myself now. So once again, good morning. And we are now in week six of our science class. But before we start, will you please do some stretching first? Because I believe na some of you are not yet you know, doing some exercise. Like for example, you can actually do this way. So can you hold your head for at least, and then move for at least eight counts. Up, down, and then down, up, down, up. Okay, stop, and then you can do this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is a good exercise for the neck para hindi kayo ma-strain masyado during online class. Pwede kayong i-code nyo to in uh, counterclockwise direction. And then after some times, reverse. There you go. And then you can actually stretch your hand up. Yes. And then you can shake it. Just shake, shake the fingers or the hand all around. And then um this is a good exercise inhale and exhale is a good exercise for the lungs so you can do at least three counts or three inhale exhale so can we please do that ready go inhale and then exhale another inhale exhale and then inhale exhale and that's good for, that's a kind of relaxing exercise. Do that, especially if you're like stressed or you can actually share that to your parents when they are stressed. Mom, try to inhale, exhale, or try to tap your body with your hand. Ganyan, ganyan. Kasi uh, malaking tulong class yung somehow natatap yung ating body with our fingers or even clapping. It helps kasi may mga nerve endings tayo sa kamay natin na kapag na, nagagalaw is definitely will help the proper circulation of blood. And if the blood circulates uh, well in our body, definitely we will be well. Okay? So yesterday, I should to watch the E to lie, but as I said to say, same thing with what we are experiencing. There are times na, na, for this past two weeks, I am, I am experiencing like poor connection. That is, that is why I was not able to enter the broadcast. So, I cannot go on kasi pag naputol ako, hindi nakakaya naman sa DepEd um, page, right? If possible na ma-disconnect ako. That's, that's why next time, so na, sa ano na ako, plus mag-iitulay uh, sa central office ng DepEd. Okay. So, but anyway, so just in case that you participated in that kind of activity, itulay, please uh, uh, take some picture or photo of you watching just like what Mia did very good Mia for doing that sending your picture while watching the e to light and yes I'm still waiting for the others if you can send also your pictures doing the same thing right not only actually class not only for PE5 there are there are schedules that you can actually watch also e to light so FB uh, live or YouTube live na, yes, it really help you. Whatever I discuss to you is yung binandini discuss doon. Yun nga lang, there's uh, uh, somehow quite um, konti lang namang difference because I am putting some more in this class like um, doon kasi sa module merong hindi na may mention or some competency na I, I actually add if I knew na kaya nyo naman Okay, so that's why minsan, minsan hindi magtatali dun sa dinidiscuss sa, sa TV. Okay, anyway, so I ask you to review about our past lessons in science. Did you do that? Now, in this activity, you are going to uh, see slides. There are questions. Now, if you know that the if you know the, what do you call this? If you know the answer to these questions, you can actually say mine and your name. Okay? 
So for example, you are live selling now, in, in a live selling now, or a live selling rather. So for example, mine, um, Alan. So it means ako yung sasagot. Alam ko agad kung sino yung sasagot kasi may pangalan. There are times kasi yung voice ninyong class nagbabago during online class. Nagiging iba compared sa actual or face-to-face -face, uh, setup. Madaling makilala yung voice. But during online class, there are times magtatanong ako sino yun. So I cannot recognize easily. That is why in this kind of activity, you're going to say mine and then your name. You get it? Yes? All right, we'll start. So these are questions that are like, I believe, um, I did not put anything here that I did not share to you or I did not share to you or discuss to you. So let's begin. Okay, can you see another slide? Not yet, yes. Yes or no? All right, so fill in the blanks or give your idea regarding the concepts stated in each statement. That is a statement plus <laughs> there's a typographical uh, error in that, uh, you know, on that slide. Anyway, let's have question number one. My gamer. All right, Amer, so give your answer now. Read the... Read the whole sentence and then give your answer. Go. Fertilization is the union of blank and blank cell. Fertilization is the union of sperm cell and egg cell. Very good. So, clap for that. We have, you know, some, uh, pag nakasagot na class, somehow you are now, you know, the participation is, you expect for a higher grade in recitation or participation. Mine, Aimer. Aimer again. How about the others? You want to steal? I'll go, Aimer. Pollination is the transfer of transfer of pollen grains from the from the blank to the blank of a flower. Pollination is the transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of the flower. Very good. Applause for that. So, anther is the male structure, a part of a male structure, and the stigma is the part of a female structure. So, definitely, the, the pollen grains will be coming from the anther, which is the male structure, part of the male structure, and it will be transferred to the stigma, and that's a sticky structure of, uh, of a female reproductive structure of plants. So, sticky siya para ma madumikit yung pollen grains doon, kasi kung hindi siya sticky, baka mag-slide lang yun. Okay? Yes, that's correct. So Aimer is, you know, getting two points now. I'm Mia. I'll go, Mia. The male structure of a flower is called blank. The male structure of a flower is called stigma. All right. So... Thank you, Mia, for that. But then, can someone steal that? Mine, Aliyah. You go, Aliyah. Amen. Okay, will you please read the whole sentence? The male structure of a flower is called stamen. All right, very good. That is correct, stamen. So, siguro nagkamali lang ng kaunti si Mia dun sa, kasi magkatunog para yung S, stigma, and then stamen. Alright, but anyway, this is stamen. Okay? Alright, let's continue with this question. Mine, Ali. Mine, Santara. Mine, Abram. Okay, so tatlo yung nagsagot. So, since there are Mine three, is. there are three na nauna. So, will you please... Write your answers now on the chat box at the same time. Yung mga nagsagos si Mia, Aliyah, and Santara, including Jester, go. No. All right. So as I can see now your answers at the chat box, and you are all correct. 
So that is pistil. So the female structure of flower is called, yes, it is pistil. Yes, let's continue. Uh, enter in filament, that's wrong. It should be R. Yes, Ali is the first one to, to get it. Will you please give the answer, Alia? That is R, enter in filament. Enter in filament are parts of the stamen. Very good, that is correct. Enter in filament are parts of the stamen. So it means um, when we talk about the, the male structure of the plant, we knew that it is called stamen, stamen. But there are two parts, that is the filament and the, the anther. Did you get it? Mm. Let's continue. My Mia. My Abram. Okay, Mia is the first one. I'm really sorry. Siguro plus it's something to do with the internet connection also. That's why I don't know. But anyway, Mia, will you please answer this one? Style, ovary, and stigma are the parts of the blank. Style, ovary, and stigma are the parts of the pistil or carpel. Okay, very good. So style, ovary, stigma, yeah. You, we knew that these are parts of the pistil or the carpel. And definitely, this is um, another structure of a plant that is really important because without this one, definitely, there will be no reproduction in plants. Did you get it? Sorry, class. But I said there are flowers who are like incomplete. There are flowers who has na wala class ano, walang male structure or walang female structure. There are also flowers na walang petals. There are some like that. So try to read more about a uh, plants kasi marami naman tayong references that we can actually read. If you have encyclopedias, you are, you are free to to read uh, encyclopedias. Hindi laging Google kasi masakit sa mata kapag lagi naman nakatingin sa ating monitor. Right? Now let's continue. The protective structure of the seed is the bank. Man, Aimer. Okay, go Aimer. So the protective structure of the seed is the? The protective stru structure of the seed is the blank. The, protect the protective structure of the seed, so the seed is the ovary. Yes, that is correct. The ovary is the protective structure. Or in other term, the ovary is the, in the enlarged ovary now will be called the fruit. Did you get it? When you say enlarge, Kasi nga, class, there are times when the pollen grains like attach to the stigma, it go down to the ovary and definitely the seed will grow there. Okay, because of series of processes involved. Meron pang mga processes involved within that area, so ovary. And during that time, para ma-protect yung, yung seed na yon as it grows, yung fruit din lumalaki siya, nag enlarge yung ovary. So that becomes the, uh, the fruit of the plant okay <laughs> so i said for plants uh fruit is a structure mahalaga sa kanila yung yung seed in plants but in human as ang mas mahalaga sa atin yung fruit minsan yung seed anong ginagawa natin tinatapon natin but take note even tinatapon natin yung seed we are part of you know the reproduction process why kasi pagkakain mo ng buto tapos tinapon mo do you think what will happen Yes, Abang. Abang, you want to answer? Please raise your hand. Click the raised hand there if you want to answer. Yes, Alia, go. It will grow where you grow through it. Yes, there's a possibility that it will grow, definitely, especially if you throw it to a, like a good soil or you actually intentionally want to plant it. So who are among you here like that? Yung pagkakain ng manga itatanim or may parents kayo nasasabihin, oh, akin na yung buto and I'm going to put that there. So 
Yes, very good. Maganda yung klasa. When you are like eating fruit, um, try to, you know, help the surroundings by how? Planting more plants, planting more trees, and definitely um, more plants, more trees, it means more oxygen in our surroundings. Now, let's continue, but this time, um, we will change the, the mechanics. So this time, you are going to type the answer sa ating chat box when I say go. Okay, be ready. So kailangan naka, ano, na kayo sa chat box, naka ready na kayo para um, lahat ay makapag-participate. Akiko, what is this? Bakit may mga ano? But anyway, so let's have this question. Next question. Bird lays eggs. So it is and blank. Ready? Go. Wait for my signal, I will say go if you are, you know, to type the answers. Okay, Mia correct, Amer, Dana, Percy, yes, Angelica, Jace Lee, correct, Miel also correct, Abam, Jester, Sophia, Eman, Diana. Yes, I said it's correct. Amika, Hannah, Santara. All right. So majority of the class got the correct answer. So very good for that one. So all of you got the point here. So hindi na lang isa isa. As sa mining nga, baka ang mas mabilis lang makapag-open at makapagsalita yung malakas yung internet. So to be fair, right? So let's continue. Frogs reproduce asexually with blank fertilization. Ready, go. Type your answers. Frags reproduce asexually with blank fertilization. Ready, go. All right. So as I can see, mm -hmm. oh man, the na ilan. <laughs> but then it's 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 it, it's Okay, I believe, ayan, may nagpa-flash ng, ng answers sa ating ano. Kasi siguro naka-cellphone, mahirap mag-type. Just in case uh, you are experiencing that, that one, mahirap mag-type kasi yung class naka-cellphone, naka, naka, naka pwede kayong gumamit ng show me board, alright? So the answer here is external fertilization. External. Correct. So I'm... I'm now the one giving the scores, ha? Ako na yung naglalagay ng score dito sa akin. Kasi, ano... Para recorded again. Now, accessory parts of the flower are blank, blank, and blank in any order. Accessory parts of the flower are blank, blank, and blank. Ready, go. Please take note of the spelling, huh? Please um, be sure of your spelling. Accessory parts of the flower are blank, blank, and blank. Ready, go. Okay, Amer already put the, the answer. Okay, so Amer got two there. Angelica got three. Dana got three. Alia also th um, Alia 2, Hannah got 2, Akiko got 2, Kia got 3, Jaisley 3, Mia 3, Justin also 3, Abba 3, Diana got 3 also. Same with Jester, Carl, Percy, Sophia. So if um if your name is not mentioned but you're still correct, so don't you worry, class. It is recorded and I can I can still record your scores. Kiko is two points. All right, so that's a receptacle. We have the sepals and the petals. Actually, class, the petals are for butterflies. 
para ma-attract sila, para maka-help sila sa pollination. Okay, reproduction. Kasi if it is not attractive, definitely they will not go there to, you know, to to sip some nectar. Although there are also cases insects are actually uh, attracted to the smell, but more more of the time because of their attractive petals. Okay, let's continue. The first day of menstrual cycle is popularly known as blank. The, the, the first day of menstrual cycle is popularly known as blank. Okay, ready, go. Okay, I consider all your answers there. So that is correct. That is correct. Menstruation or um, if someone answered this one, also correct. Okay, so we go type your answers now. That is all correct. So that's menstruation or can be like period. Okay, let's continue. Starfish reproduce blank. Starfish reproduce blank ready go okay Emma is correct hannah jaycee but should be in an adverb form pero kung hindi adverb form yung ginawa so okay i will consider but next time when the statement is like this uh for example the statement is starfish reproduce blank so kailangan you're going to write your answer in adverb form. Sexually, uh, asexual rather. Asexually is correct. Asexually, yes. All correct. Very good. So let's continue with next question. Fertilization in women occurs in their blank. Fertilization in women occurs in their blank. Ready, go. Please type your answers now. Enter it. Fertilization in women occurs in... Okay. I ask this question class because there is there's a possibility that in examinations you will see this kind of question. That is why, if you notice, I I asked uh, I I asked this question several times, and for so many times that I asked this question, you got a wrong response or answer. That is why I keep on repeating this question. Now another chance because no one got the correct answer. Fertilization in women occurs in their blank. Okay, wow. So one got the correct answer there already. Si Carl, got it? Dana, Kian, Percy, okay. Amer. Mm -hmm. So yung iba na, na late nakakapag-enter, I believe there's a connection, but then you can actually show your answer using our, you know, using your show me board so like see mia is, is showing the, the board now and that is answer, that is correct fallopian tube is the correct answer ah oh, sorry the life cycle of a butterfly is composed of egg larva pupa and blank ready go Okay, Jester is correct. That's right. 
Hannah, Sophia, kay Amer. Mm, yeah. Ang bilis. Hindi ko na mabasa lahat class kasi ano na. Ang bilis na yung ano gawa nung sabay-sabay kayo nag-enter. But as I can see, lahat naman tama. Wala akong nakitang maling sagot. So the correct answer there is adult. Or adult butterfly is also correct. Wow, nice one. Very good. So I believe that based from this um, review, or from this review, we have like, we are ready for the next exam because next time I'm going to give exam or quiz through the Google link. Sana makakuha ng mataas na scores. That is why I keep on reviewing. I keep on asking questions uh, repeatedly para talagang mm -hmm, maging ano, mataas ang scores niya sa ating magiging quiz. Now this time we'll proceed to the next one. And we'll have the mode of reproduction for plants. Again, the mode of reproduction for plants. If in animals, we have two mode of reproductions and we call that what? In animals. Anyone raise your hand if you want to answer. Okay. Amer and Dalia is raising their hands. How about the others? Eman, will you please answer this one? So in animals, we have two modes of reproduction and we call that? Fertilization and reproduction. Fertilization and reproduction. Uh, okay, although that's um, the processes involved also during that time, but we have two. What are those? Alia? External and internal fertilization. Okay, and the other one, the other one, the other mode that we are uh, talking also when it comes to animals. Yes, Amer? Sexual and asexual reproduction. Okay, sexual and asexual. So in in animals, if we talk about sexual reproduction, what is the requirement? Diana. Two parents. Very good. There should be like two parents, male and female, because we need their gametes. Gametes are the cells the egg and sperm cells. So it means without the parents, the reproduction or the, yes, the reproduction process is impossible to happen. Okay? A mother cannot bear a child by herself or a father cannot have an offspring by himself also. So we need the female and male gametes and that is sexual reproduction. How about... Asexual. Yes, um, Alia. It only needs one parent. Yes, I really like your um, Alia. Your dagi ko na no notice yung gamit mo, may microphone and all and <laughs> and the, the headset and. Talagang, yeah, lahat ang ganda ng mga headsets niyo pa lang. ko lang na, 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 na nakita ng mas clearer. Yung kina Diana, kay Angelica, and kay Miel. Yeah. Yung even kay ano, kay Jaisley. Kaya lang, Jaisley, yung, yung position mo dyan, parang against the light. Yung pwesto mo. Kaya parang hindi ka masyadong clear yung, yung ano, yung iyong itsura dyan sa part At na yun. Yes. ko po kasi bintana. Hmm. Yeah, that's against the light. Kaya medyo parang nagliliwanag ka masyado. But anyway, let's continue. So, you know what, class? If in animals we have sexual and asexual reproduction, in plants we have also same thing. Sexual and asexual reproduction. Why? Take note that in plants we have also the female and male structure. Do you get my point? So if there's... um. Female and male structure in plants, definitely they can reproduce sexually with the male and female gametes. So how is that possible? So take note of the pollen grains. Pollen grains, ano yung katapat niya sa human? That is the sperm cell. Okay? So the pollen grains, yung mga maliliit na yun na nasa plants, pwede nga kayo i-try yung mag-experiment if you have plants at home, pwede kayo yung maglagay ng pollen dun sa stigma yata sa yung ganun sa mga flowers na meron kayo to, to produce a new offspring or, you know, para magkaroon siya ng seed. 
Okay? There are plants na magiging fruit, fruit siya. There are plants naman na hindi siya magiging fruit. Case-to-case -case basis kasi naman, ang plants naman kasi when you talk about angiosperms, it's actually varied. Sa dami ng halaman sa buong mundo, hindi naman pare-pareho class ng style on how they are reproducing their offspring. But anyway, um, you try. For example, may gumamela kayo, i-examine yung class. Um, sino meron pala na flowering plant sa bahay? Kaso baka hindi kayo payagan ng nanay nyo na pitasin yung flower. Pero kung madami naman gumamela, okay? If, just in case, madami kayong gumamela sa bahay, you try to dissect. <laughs> you try to, you know, get some. Punitin nyo yung kanyang ovary. Tingnan nyo anong meron dun sa loob. Yung yung stigma niya, tingnan niyo yung stigma ng, ng, ng gumamela and then the style and then look for also for the the anther and the filament. Ayan, pwede niyo tingnan. Or if you have like other flowering plants at home, so you can also try to look for that. For example, yung mango tree, if you have, di ba marami namang flower yun, tingnan niyo din yung style ng flower niya kung paano siya nagkakaroon ng, paano natatransfer possible yung, yung pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of the flower. Okay? Para sa maging fruit. Most especially, ngayong panahon na to, magiging season na yung manga. So, you know, you need to at least try to discover kung sino man yung mayana. And then, this is your, one of your activities na pwede nyong kunan. If you have already the flower, like, take some picture while you are like doing something with that flower. Hindi na dissect nyo sa class. Tinitinan nyo alin dun yung stigma, alin dun yung anther. Siyempre, yung mga accessory parts, pwede nyo siyang tingnan. Pwede nyo tanggalin yung kanyang mga, uh, yung receptacle, yung kanyang sepal and petals. Pwede nyo tanggalin and then um, just examine para mas closer look. Kasi dito, more on ano tayo, video, picture. So, kung sa school tayo, supposedly, ang gagawin natin class is, I'll, I'll demonstrate to you, papakita ko, bubuksan natin yung flower talaga, and then you're going to look for that that part. But then we cannot do that. It's a virtual. So you can do that by your own. So take note, that is your task number one for today. You're going to get a flower and then take some photo na ginagawa nyo, tinatanggal nyo yung isa-isa, and then um, ina-examine nyo yung mga parts. Alright? Pero pag may fruit na, or ano na siya, huwag nyo nang tanggalin kasi sayang naman. Kasi there are, I, I believe, may mga mangga na ngayon na nag, may mga kaunti ng tumutubo or fruit makikita. Alright, so let's continue. So again, we have the sexual and asexual reproduction in plants. And as what I'm saying a while ago, we need the female and male for sexual and then the pollen grains is the sperm. Pag nadikit yung class sa stigma, I'm going to use Tagalog to, to explain it clearly. Taglish, rather. So, when the pollen grains, like, attached to the stigma of a flower, but it can be, like, of the other flower class, ha? But same kind of plant. Pwede yun. Halimbawa, yung buong mangga, di ba, madami siyang bulakla. So, pwede nung nag-transfer yung butterfly sa isang flower, lumit lumipat siya sa isang flower, mangga pa rin naman. So, kung yung pollen galing dun sa isang flower, napunta sa isang flower, that is still pollination. And we call that cross-pollination. Pero kung yung pollen grains ay nanggaling dun sa imismong flower, isang flower na yon, um, and then dun din na attach sa stigma ng same flower, we call that self-pollination, from the old self. So ibig sabihin yung pollen nanggaling din sa sarili niya. Tapos yung din yung nag-fertilize dun sa, sa egg cell na dun sa flower. You get my point? The same kind. Kasi impossible naman class na may flower ng ng santol at saka mangga, sila yung magko-combine. Mag mag hindi naman ganon. Pero possible naman mag-transfer yung, yung butterfly from mango tree to santol, santol tree. But then, hindi ma-fertilize ng mango, mango tree yung santol tree using the pollen coming from another kind of species. So, dapat same species siya. It's mango, mango. If it is like sunflower, same sunflower also. Okay. So next time, and you're going to describe naman class the difference between the self and cross-pollination. Same thing with that with what I have uh, discussed here. Banning self and... And then we have a sexual reproduction in plants. Now, um, your task now is to give individually, using your show me board, 
Okay. You're going to write a plant and how they reproduce. Is it using seed or other part of a tree or of the plant? So you're going to look for at least one plant or a tree or anything. Write it there. For example, mango. Yung nilagay ko. And then how to reproduce? Um, lagay ng hyphen seed. Okay? Did you get my point? All right. So I'll give you a minute to do that. Write at least one plant. And then opposite to that, write it there kung paano sila nagpro-produce. Not only seed, ha? there are other, other, other you know, processes uh, that may be used in reproduction. Anything, it can be uh, vegetables or fruit, whatever you want. Basta dapat nag siya class, huh? So I'll give you uh, time to do that. So since, since kayo na pa tayo nag-start, so I'll give you 30 seconds na lang. After the time, so we're going to flash your answers. All right, so time is up. Okay, let me see your answers in three, two, one, go. Pag hindi kayo mag-open ng camera, just uh, put your answers doon sa ating chat box. So squash for Amer and then seed. Why? Well, that's correct. Apple and then seed, that is correct. Papaya and seed for Sophia, that is correct. Mm -hmm. So avocado. <laughs> Kia, that is also seed, and then for Hannah, watermelon. Uh, yes, a rose, a seed cutting, and then for Hannah, watermelon seed, correct. Uh, for Percy, kangkong using the stem. Okay, correct. Also, how about the others? Will you be show your answers? Yes, for Mia, mango, and seed. Lemon and seed for Akiko, that is correct. So if you have plant at home, plants, uh, you can actually, you know, can see the variety of plants. Merong seed, merong stem, that is correct. Santol tree by seed, that is correct. Okay. Some more. How about the others? Um, sino pa yung hindi ng sagot? Abam, please write your answers. Your answer, rather. Carl, can you hear me? For Ami, apple and seed. Carrot. Carrot. Um, for Aliyah, seed. Okay, some more. Rambutan seed for Abam. Some more. Okay. Uh, sino pa? Rambutan seed. All right. So, based from this activity, what can you, what conclusion can you draw? What can you conclude? What can you try to analyze? Cry, analyze. Based from this activity, if I ask you to write a plant and then how they reproduce, you said it can be using the seed or the stem. So what conclusion can you draw from it? From this uh, conversation that we have or for this activity that we have?
Abang, are you raising? Do you want to recite? Yes, Abang, go. Ah, uh, sir, hindi po. Eh, Nahihiyap. Don't be shy, class. Ayaw, ayaw so magsagot kasi nga, um, bawat sinasabi ninyo, there's like a bearing, mayroong points. Kaya, please answer, please participate. Anyone? Bella? Bella? So, di ba your answers are varied? Sir, ako no question. Kasi your answers are varied. You said there are some plants that can reproduce through the seed, but there are some answers or responses that plants can reproduce through their stem. So what can you conclude based from this activity? What can you say about this one? Hmm. It means that They can grow two stems because the plant, the roots are flat or from the two parents. So the stems can be used to plant again. Yes, very good. That, that is one. That is one conclusion that stem can be used in reproduction. All right, that is correct. What else? Some more. Um, yes, Amer? Every, every plant grows differently. Mm, yes, every plant grow different, grows different, differently. So there are actually class two, two classification. One is reproducing using the seed. Did you get my point? And that is angiosperms. Yung tinutukoy natin angiosperms flowering plants and the other one is reproducing or reproducing using other parts of the plants like the stem the leaves uh what else the bulb the roots okay so it means there are two classification one is that buto pwedeng gamitin sa pagtatanim the other is other parts of plants and we call them sexual if using the seed asexual if not using the seed did you get my point Sexual, if there's a seed. If there's no seed, we're going to consider it as asexual. Or other term for asexual, you please take note for this one. So when we talk about asexual, we are referring to vegetative reproduction. Later, I'm going to show you a video of what is vegetative reproduction. So we'll go there now, vegetative reproduction. So please uh, watch this video to understand about what I'm saying. But the thing that you need to take note here is that my plants na seed lang talaga siya tumutubo. So using the seed, magre-reproduce na siya. That is one part. That is one classification. Pero paano naman yung plants na walang seed? Paano sila magre-reproduce? That is... Uh, through a sexual reproduction or the vegetative reproduction and this will be the the content of the video please take note and try to do some you know lecture based from what you will learn from this video vegetative propagation in plants the units of vegetative propagation such as runner Rhizome, sucker, tuber, offset, and bulb are giving rise to new offspring. These structures are called vegetative propagules. Formation of these structures does not involve two parents. The process involved is asexual. Are you aware how plants like potato, sugarcane, banana, ginger and dahlia are cultivated determine the site of origin of the new plantlets in the plant shown you will notice that they invariably arise from the nodes present in the modified stems of these plants onion is stem modification adventitious roots are grown from discoid in the soil adventitious buds arise from the notches present 
at margins of leaves of bryophyllum. This ability is fully exploited by gardeners and farmers for commercial propagation of such plants. Terror of Bengal aquatic plant water, hyacinth, drains oxygen from the water, which leads to death of fishes. Introduced in India for its beautiful flowers and shape of leaves, propagate at phenomenal rates spread all over water body within a short period of time. It is very difficult to get rid of them. Now let us see few examples of vegetative propagules in angiosperms. A. Eyes of potato. B. Rhizome of ginger. C. Bulbils of a gavy. D. Leaf buds of bryophyllum. E. Offset of water hyacinth. Rhizome. Modified stem grows horizontally. Distinct nodes and internodes are present with marked apical and auxiliary buds. Adventitious roots present at the ventral side. Example, ginger, gingerbread, turmeric, and curcuma, tuber. In Solanum tuberosum, half moon like structures called eyes of potato. These eyes indicate the position of nodes and internodes. Scale leaves and auxiliary buds are present. Apical bud is also present. Tubers have no roots. Example, Solanum tuberosum, potato. Heliander, tuberosus. Onion, underground stem modification. Adventitious roots grow towards the soil. Fleshy, scaly leaves, which are eaten, grow above soil, aerial. Auxiliary buds produce new plant. Apical bud shows inflorescence. Tunicate bulbs are seen in Allium sepa, onion. The imbricate bulbs are seen in Allium sativum, garlic. Corb. Underground stem modification grows vertically in the soil. Nodes and internodes present. Scale leaves arising at node. Apical and auxiliary buds are present. Auxiliary roots produce daughter roots. Comb shows contractile roots, which are helpful to put the comb in distinct depth. Example, Amorphophallus, Colocasia, etc. All right, so that is vegetative reproduction. And actually, class, when you talk about this vegetative reproduction, um, you can ask through the, the book. So if you have your science book, please, you please open because later one of your activities is will be based in your book. Because some of the examples are not mentioned, are not mentioned in the, the video. Okay, will you please go to page 138? So later, you are going to make a, you are going to make a table. So I'm going to show it class how you do it. So later, Using your book, you are going to make a table. Okay. So you are going to write here the natural. Um, you are going to write here the.
Uh, just uh, write vegetative reproduction, vegetative propagation rather. And then, after writing a pro uh, that one there, so ilalagay niyo yung example. So you're going to research, you're going to look for it sa inyong book. Kasi yun na naman siya lahat ang alagay. So, example natin is, let's say we have runners. Okay, so, lalagay nyo yung example ng runners. And then, yung basahin nyo din, class, what, is, what are runners? This is from page 138. So, example, for example, is uh, Carabao grass, that is a runner. Ibig sabihin, dumadami sila because of what we call the the process or the part of the their the plant which is the runner and we have suckers so ito na yung pagkakasunod sa nagkas ha we have bulb kanina binanggit na yung example ng bulb sa, sa, sa youtube video we have the tuber and then we have the rhizome so give example of rhizome That's it. So at least give example at least three here or two to three. So give an example. Sir, maglalagay po ba kayo ng picture niyan sa GC? Yes. Pero ano, tingnan niyo na kas ganito ang table na gagawin ha. So this is task number two. Task number two, which is you're going to complete the table using this one. Again, the vegetative propagation, you're going to write your runner, suckers, bulb, tuber, rhizome. And then using your reference, which is your book, you can actually um, get some info there or details. What are examples of this, um, you know, vegetative propagation? So write it there. At least two to three. O ano man yung makikita niya. So task number one, uh, I asked you to, mamaya ilalagay ko to sa ano man, sa inyong GC. So we're going to get some flower. Flower. And examine the parts. Some flowers, plus because you can examine two or more, depending on the availability. But if the flower is like, you are like prohibited by your parents not to 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 pick some, so wag yung gawin. Yung lang mga madaming bulaklak, pwede kayong bumagbawas. Take some photograph while doing the activity. Flowers, examine it. Okay, so that's your task, and you can uh, you can still submit naman this one until uh, the, uh, until afternoon. Kasi wala naman kayong class later. Ay meron yata kayo. Ano subject ba kayo mama niya pala? Wala po. Wala. Akala ko ba may EPP kayo and mape pag Thursday? Bukas po ata yung EPP. Sabi po ni Ma'am Joan, quiz lang daw po ngayon. Okay. So task one is this one. And then task two, you're going to write the vegetative propagation here. And then you're going to write the examples. So you can actually um, get that one sa ating references. You can read more actually class. Meron mga yung pangyong pwede mabasa dyan. Kasi aside from the vegetative reproduction, of propagation, we have artificial, yung cutting, layering, grafting, and marketing. But then, I will not discuss further about this kasi meron kayong specialized lesson when we talk about the artificial vegetative, vegetative propagation sa inyong APP class. Doon talaga, tuturuan kayo na mag-marketing, layering, and grafting. That is why, dito sa science class natin, pahapyo ko lang ibibigay. But you can still read for that sa ating 
book as a page 140. All right? So that is another, that is a task that you're going to do. Now, what is the important thing to, to note here? That in plants, we have two modes of reproduction, that is sexually and asexually. And when you talk about sexually, that is, the idea is two parents, and there's like a seed, okay? And when we talk about asexually, that is vegetative propagation, and we talk about the rhizome, the runner, the tuber, um, the sucker, and then the artificial vegetative using the stem, yung stem class pwede yung pagdugtungin sa ibang classing plants, uh, using grafting, marketing, and budding. May budding din sa plants, not, 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 not only animals. Okay, so what else? And so, sexual and asexual, we have already. Right, so that's it. So you have two tasks to do, but um, you're going to do also series of activities na ilalagay ko sa GC natin for you to to practice more uh, and then to really practice on how to define and describe pollination, cross-pollination, fertilization in plants, and so on and so forth. So I'll just give you the page later after the class. Now, another term that we're going to discuss here is there are plants kasi class na we call that gymnosperms. Sila yung mga non-flowering plants, but we are going to discuss this next time before we go to another lesson, which is the intertidal and the intertidal zones for the ecosystem. Okay, so any questions about uh, the topic that we have about sexual and asexual reproduction in plants? So some more, uh, another video na lang class, last video na lang before we, we end our class this morning. So I'm going to show again the types of reproduction in plants to understand more about that. One pleasant evening, Spikey was enjoying the weather in a park. He saw a gardener planting rose stems into the soil. He thought to himself, aren't we supposed to sow seeds to grow a plant? What do you think? Will the rose stems grow into new plants? The answer is yes. Many plants can be grown without seeds. The process of producing offspring is called reproduction. There are two modes of reproduction in plants, sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. The fusion of male and female gametes is called sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction starts with pollination, which is the transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of a flower. The male gametes of a flower are carried in pollen grains and the female gametes are carried in ovules. Most flowers have both male and female parts in one flower. Such flowers are called bisexual. They prefer self-pollination. On the other hand, some plant species have separate male and female flowers. Such flowers are called unisexual flowers. These flowers require cross-pollination for reproduction. For example, tomatoes and peas have bisexual flowers, while cucumbers have flowers that are unisexual. When pollen falls onto a flower stigma, it forms a pollen tube that leads to the flower's ovary. There, the pollen cells 
fuse with the female gametes in the ovule to form a seed. This seed carries a baby plant called an embryo inside of it. Each time a seed is planted into the soil and treated with appropriate conditions, it grows into a seedling which eventually grows into a new plant. Sexual reproduction happens inside of a flower. Therefore, flowers are the reproductive parts of plants. Oh, but I bet you're wondering, what is asexual reproduction? Well, we know that plants have roots, stems, and leaves. These parts are called the vegetative parts of a plant. When a new plant is formed using these parts, the process is called vegetative propagation or asexual reproduction. In asexual reproduction, the fusion of male and female gametes is not required. Let's see how asexual reproduction takes place. There are different methods of vegetative reproduction. Cutting, layering, grafting, and budding. Let's have a look at each method in detail. Spikey saw the method of cutting in the park. The rose plant can be grown by cutting off part of its stem with two or more nodes and then planting it in the ground. This stem will grow into a new plant. In some plants, you don't need to cut the stem. Instead, a branch can bury itself in the soil while it is still attached to the parent plant. This branch is called a layer or a runner. The layer develops new roots and leaves and eventually grows into a new plant. This is known as layering. Did you know that grass is propagated by layering? The most interesting type of vegetative reproduction is grafting. In grafting, a twig from one tree is joined to a stem from another tree of the same kind. Grafting is most often done with fruit trees like citrus and mango trees to produce new and improved varieties. Then we have budding. What do you think budding means? Budding is like grafting, except that a bud is used instead of a twig. The bud is joined to the base of a young plant and the rest of the host plant is cut off. Later, the bud grows so into its own plant. Plant. Budding is also done in fruit trees like peach and plum trees. Let's summarize. The process of producing offspring is called reproduction. There are two methods of reproduction in plants, sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. In sexual reproduction, flowers are the organs of reproduction. During pollination, pollen grains, which contain male gametes, fuse with the female gametes in the ovary. Seeds are formed at the end of sexual reproduction. In asexual reproduction, vegetative parts of a parent plant directly produce offspring. There is no need for fusion between male and female gametes. Examples of this include cutting, layering, grafting, and budding. No seeds are formed at the end of asexual reproduction. Okay, so that is in summary. Now, will you please continue this sentence or this statement in this lesson? I learned that blank. In this lesson, I learned that blank. So anything that you want to share with the class. Yes, Bella? Yes, sir. Amer. In today's lesson, I learned that every plant has sexual and asexual reproduction.
I am. Can you still hear me, class? Yes, but... Hey, Mer, naputuloy yata yung sinasabi mo or hindi ko lang narinig lahat. Will you please do it, uh, say it again? In this lesson, I learned the sexual and asexual reproduction of plants. Okay, very good. Some more? Yes, um, Alia? Jaisley. Today, I learned that not all plants use sexual reproduction. Yes, very good. So not all use sexual reproduction. Same thing with animals, right? Did you get the, the similarities? If animals, when they're reproducing, um, can be asexual or sexual. Sexual, two parents, male and female. Female and male gametes need to fuse, need to, co to combine. While in asexual reproduction, same thing with flowers, no need of the sexual gametes, sperm and egg. Ang kailangan ng sa plants ay yung mga parts, ng, parts of the plant, like the stem, the runners, the, the root can be the bulb, and so on and so forth. Okay? Some more? Aliyah, in this lesson, I learned that plants can reproduce in many ways. Yes. So it, using the seed again or through vegetative propagation. Some more? Okay, so later you are going to write all your learnings through this diagram or through this pictures that I'm going to send also. This is task number three. So in this task class, you are going to write your realization. So you're going to continue this statement. Just same thing with what you did. Okay. I learned that. You can actually put several ref uh, responses or answer. It'd be like th uh, three to five. All your learnings, pakilagay para alam ko plus kung ano yung nakuha nyo with this lesson. All right, did you get it? So you have three tasks to do today. Task one is that one, task two is this one, and task three you're going to reflect or to to give your you know learnings for today using this template. Or using this page here. So you're going to write that on your notebook. After that, you're going to yes, same thing with what we are doing. Take some picture and then send it to me. Any question? None so far? All right. So if there's no question, um, another thing to do, uh, read uh, your modules also to know more about other, you know, other ways of reproduction of plants. Kasi meron pang iba class aside from the, the vegetative propagation and seeds, meron pang iba na pwedeng gamitin. So we have, uh, for example, for mosses, for mosses, for ferns, and for conifers. Meron pang ibang pwedeng gawin. All right, so read for that. And don't forget to read also this one, your science links books, because there are um, discussions here where you can actually, yes, understand how fern and moss are reproduced. Makikita niyo yung sa page 146. I try to note for them. 146. 146. All right. So, did you see that? Nakita niyo? Nasa book? Yes? All right. So, if there's an, any question, some more questions? Sure. None so far? Yes. Who's that? Akiko. Akiko, yes. 
Ano oras po deadline? Alright, till afternoon, pwede nyo naman siyang gawin class until 4 p.m. Basta masamit ka until 4 p.m. Okay? Clear? So if that's okay, see you in the class next time. Um, next Wednesday, I will invite you once again. So surely, makakapag-live na ako plus sa ating, Sir? Sa ating dep, -ed, dep ed pages. So please, abangan nyo yun. Tuloy na tuloy na sana. Sir? <laughs> yes, Bella? Isisend niyo po ba sa group chat? Um, I believe sinabi ko yun kanina. Okay po. Hindi ko wala po kasi naintindihan na maayos. Okay, see you, class. Bye, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Tomorrow, we'll meet. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, sir. 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 Keep safe. Thank you.